Hey there, fellow adventurer. This is Glenn, and let's talk travel. If you've ever dreamed of traveling the world during your retirement, you're in the right place. Today, I'm sharing some tips and tricks to transition to a traveling retirement, even before you officially retire. Let's dive in. In this episode of our special podcast series, where we talk about an exciting way to live your life before you officially call it quits from the nine to five grind. I'm Glenn, your friendly guide and host for today's episode. And let me tell you, if you've ever dreamed of traveling the world long before your retirement party even happens, you're in the right place. This podcast is all about helping people just like you transition into what I like to call pre-retirement travel. That's right today. We're going to dive into the world of how you can enjoy the perks of a traveling lifestyle before you even clock out of work for the last time. Whether you're someone who's still working, thinking about retiring, or even just dreaming of living that life where you can hop from one country to another without a care in the world, we've got tips, strategies, and insights that will change your outlook on both work and retirement. But before we get into all the good stuff, let me paint a picture of what we're really talking about here. When most people think of retirement, they imagine they've got to wait for that golden age, maybe 65 or so, before they can enjoy life to the fullest. They wait for that final paycheck to clear, and then they start packing their bags for some dream destination. And sure, that's a great plan, nothing wrong with it. But here's what I want you to think about today. What if you didn't have to wait? What if you could start living the retirement lifestyle, at least the traveling part, long before you retire? That's what we're going to unpack. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's get started on your journey to pre-retirement travel. I call this segment the dream versus reality of retirement travel. You know, when most people think about traveling during retirement, it's like this far off dream, right? Something that's 10, 20, maybe 30 years away. It's like this distant horizon that they know they'll reach eventually, but they've got to keep working hard now, keeping their heads down and just grinding it out. But here's the kicker why wait until your 60s? to start living your best life. I'll give you an example. A friend of mine, Mark, he's one of those work hard, play hard types. In his mind, his whole career was about saving up for retirement. And honestly, Mark's done well for himself. But every time we talk about travel, going on adventures, exploring new cultures, meeting people from around the globe, His response was always, Glenn, I'll do that when I retire. Right now, I've got to focus on my career. And sure, he's not wrong. But what Mark and so many others are missing is that traveling doesn't have to be this thing you push off until later. You don't have to put your life on hold to see the world. Think about this for a second. According to a study by AARP, 71% of baby boomers listed travel as their top retirement goal. That's a huge percentage, right? But what's even more interesting is that the same study found that many of those boomers didn't actually feel like they were financially ready to make those dreams a reality when the time finally came. Can you imagine working your whole life for something only to realize you're not as prepared as you thought you'd be. That's the dream versus reality part. The dream is to travel, but the reality is that waiting until retirement might not always be the best bet. Not only could financial or health issues come up, but honestly, you might miss out on some of the best years of your life where you're still energetic, healthy, and more importantly, able to enjoy everything to the fullest. So. Let's talk about how you can turn that dream into a reality sooner. Because 
trust me, it's a lot more doable than you might think. In this segment, let's talk about how to start transitioning into a traveling lifestyle. All right, let's get into the meat of it. How do you start transitioning into a traveling lifestyle before you retire? Well, it all starts with planning. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Glenn, I'm still working. How can I travel while keeping my job? And that's a fair point. But here's the thing, and I want you to pay attention to this. The key is to find a balance between work and travel. And yes, it's possible even if you're not working remotely. Let me break it down for you. Step one is to shift your mindset. You've got to stop thinking about travel as something that only happens for two weeks out of the year. Instead, start thinking of it as something you integrate into your life, little by little. That might mean taking more frequent, shorter trips rather than waiting for one big blowout vacation. Maybe you start planning long weekends away, or you begin exploring destinations closer to home to get into the swing of things. Whatever it is, the key is to make travel a regular part of your life now, not later. I'll give you another example. Sarah, a teacher I know, always loved traveling, but felt like she was chained to her job. You know the drill, summer's off, but the rest of the year, she was stuck in her classroom. Instead of waiting until she retired, she made small changes in her life to allow for more travel. She started using her holiday breaks for quick getaways, and during the summer, she didn't just sit at home, she'd pick a country and immerse herself for weeks at a time. She did that every year, and by the time she was ready to retire, she had already seen half of the world. Sarah didn't wait for retirement. She built her traveling lifestyle into her pre-retirement years, little by little. And here's something concrete. 77% of people who travel more than twice a year before retirement report a better work-life balance compared to those who only travel once a year or less. That's a big difference, isn't it? Imagine feeling like you've got a better balance in life just by taking a few extra trips here and there. You're not only enriching your life, but improving your mental health too. This is the best segment because now we address the big pink, or let's say the big green elephant in the room, financial planning for pre-retirement travel. Okay, now let's talk money because let's be real. Traveling isn't always cheap, and that's a concern for a lot of folks. But here's the thing. It doesn't have to be expensive either. You just have to get smart about it. One of the best ways to fund your travels before you retire is to start what I call micro-saving. This isn't about putting away huge chunks of your paycheck for a dream vacation in five years. Instead, it's about creating small, manageable savings goals that you can achieve within a shorter time frame, say, three to six months. For example, instead of planning one big trip that costs $5,000, why not plan two smaller trips that cost $1,500 each? The key is to break it down into smaller, more affordable chunks. Another thing you can do is look at your current expenses and figure out where you can cut back without sacrificing your quality of life. Do you really need that daily coffee from the fancy shop down the street? What about all those streaming subscriptions? These little expenses can add up. And before you know it, you've saved enough to fund a long weekend getaway or even a week-long trip. And let's not forget about points and miles. If you haven't already started taking advantage of credit card rewards, now is the time. About 50% of frequent travelers use points and miles to significantly reduce their travel costs, according to a study by Value Penguin. That's a huge advantage, and it's one that can help you travel more without spending 
a ton of money. Ready to discover your next great adventure? Welcome to Travel with Glenn. Join me as I explore amazing destinations, share travel tips, and uncover hidden gems from around the globe. Hit subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Facebook to never miss an adventure. Plus, get exclusive content and exciting giveaways. Travel with Glenn. Your journey starts here. Now, I know saving money and cutting expenses doesn't sound glamorous, but trust me, when you're sipping coffee in a cafe in Paris or hiking through the mountains in Peru, you'll be glad you did it. And the beauty of pre-retirement travel is that you don't need to do it all at once. You can space it out over the years, giving yourself plenty of time to see the world without draining your bank account in one go. Now, in this segment, let's tie it all together by combining work and travel. I also want to touch on some remote and freelance opportunities. So, we've talked about mindset, we've talked about money, but now let's talk about something that's changing the game for a lot of people, working remotely or freelancing. Now, I know not everyone has the flexibility to work from anywhere, but more and more jobs are becoming remote friendly. If you can make your job work for you in this way, it can open up a whole new world of possibilities. Take me, for instance. I started working in IT, right? It was a pretty demanding job, but over time, I was able to shift into a more remote, friendly role. And guess what? That gave me the freedom to travel while still working full time. I wasn't chained to a desk and I could work from anywhere with a stable internet connection. That's how I started integrating travel into my life long before retirement. If your job doesn't offer remote options, there's always freelancing. The freelance economy is booming and there are so many ways to earn money while you're on the go. Whether it's writing, graphic design, consulting, or teaching English online, freelancing can give you the flexibility you need to travel while still earning a steady income. In fact, 58% of freelancers say they started freelancing for the freedom it gives them to travel and live life on their own terms. And even if you're not freelancing full-time, you could pick up side gigs that allow you to earn extra money for travel while still keeping your day job. Platforms like Fiverr and Upwork have made it easier than ever to pick up gigs that fit your schedule. I've met people who freelance just enough to cover their travel costs, and the rest is icing on the cake. The key takeaway here is that you don't need to wait until you're retired to start living a traveling lifestyle. There are options, whether it's working remotely, freelancing, or even just taking more frequent, shorter trips while you're still employed. It's all about being intentional with your choices and finding ways to integrate travel into your life now. This segment is about health and travel before retirement. Now, this is a big one, health. One of the biggest reasons people hold off on traveling until retirement is because they want to be physically ready for all those adventures. And hey, I get it. But here's the catch. None of us know what our health is going to be like when we're older. That's why I always tell people, if you're able to travel now, even a little bit, do it. Don't wait. I've met people who work their whole lives only to face health issues when they finally retired. Suddenly, that dream of trekking through the Himalayas or backpacking through Europe didn't seem so feasible anymore. But on the flip side, I've met folks who started traveling in their 40s or 50s, and they're still going strong well into their retirement years because they've built that active, healthy lifestyle into their routine. So what does that mean for you? It means you don't have to wait until you're in tip-top shape 
or have all the time in the world to start seeing the world. Start small. Take a weekend hiking trip or go on a yoga retreat. The important thing is to keep moving, keep exploring, and keep your body and mind engaged. And the best part? Traveling has been shown to improve both mental and physical health. Studies show that people who travel more frequently have lower levels of stress, a stronger sense of well-being, and even improved cardiovascular health. So by traveling before retirement, you're not just checking off bucket list items, you're actually doing something beneficial for your long-term health. I had to have a segment about building a network of travelers. This is a, another thing that can really help you transition into a traveling lifestyle is building a network of like-minded travelers. You know what they say, it's not always what you know, but who you know. And that's especially true when it comes to travel. Okay, imagine this. You're planning a trip to Italy, but instead of spending hours researching online, you just reach out to a friend who's been there and ask for their recommendations. Not only do you get insider tips, but you might also get to stay with them or use their contacts to save money on accommodations and experiences. Building a travel network isn't as hard as it sounds. You can start by joining travel groups on Facebook or attending meetups for digital nomads or remote workers. You'll be amazed at how willing other travelers are to share their knowledge, their experiences, and even their resources. I've met people who've made lifelong friends while traveling, and those connections have opened up even more opportunities for travel down the road. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Talk to people, ask questions, and share your own experiences. Traveling is as much about the people you meet as the places you go, and building a strong network can make your travels more enriching and less expensive. Plus, it's always nice to have a friendly face waiting for you in a new destination. Now, you have all the information you need, and your pre-retirement travel starts like right now. I know you already have your first destination in mind. If not, I have a list of the top 100 destinations you should plan to visit. You can visit travelwithglenn.com for all the details. I will link it in my bio just for you. All right, friends. We've covered a lot of ground today, from shifting your mindset, planning financially, finding ways to work and travel, and building a network of fellow travelers, to prioritizing your health. There's a lot that goes into transitioning into a traveling lifestyle before you retire. But trust me, it's worth it. Here's the takeaway. You don't have to wait. You can start living the life you want right now in small, manageable steps. Don't put off your dreams of seeing the world because you think you need to wait until you retire. You have the power to make it happen sooner, and I'm here to help you along the way. So go out there and start planning your next trip, whether it's a weekend getaway or a month-long adventure. You deserve it, and you'll be so glad you didn't wait. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Talk Travel with Glenn. I'm Glenn, and I hope you're feeling inspired to take that first step toward your traveling lifestyle. Stay tuned for more episodes where we'll dive deeper into all things travel, retirement, and living life to the fullest. Until next time, safe travels. Oh, one more thing. If you found this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more travel tips. Safe travels, my dear future globetrotter. Travel far and wide, let's take flight. See the world's wonders. 
day and night From sandy beaches to mountain peaks Every adventure, a memory we keep Join the journey, share the thrill 